Good morning, my friends. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd. It's Wednesday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time. And uh, in the Gospel reading today, we have uh, the Canaanite woman who comes to Jesus. So know that uh, she is a pagan, and she comes to Jesus with faith. And she says, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David, son of David. So we know that title means, you know, the Messiah was to come from the house of David. So just from her calling out to Jesus by his title, she's saying, I, I believe you are the Messiah. She says, have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. So she trusts that she's probably tried a lot of other people and things to heal her daughter and, and nothing has worked. But Jesus doesn't say a word. And his disciples came and asked him, you know, send her away for she keeps calling out after us. So they're, they're wanting to kind of get rid of us. And maybe we've experienced that sometimes when you think, uh, why is this person bothering me? I just, I just want to get away. So Jesus said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So basically saying, you know, I think he's kind of testing her faith. You know, I, I was sent to the Israelites uh, not, and the Jews, not to the pagans. Um, but the woman came in and did him homage. So in great humility, she comes before the Lord and says, Lord, help me. You can just hear the mother's heart pleading uh, for her daughter. And he says, it's not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. Wow. Now, there's been many theologians who have talked about this. You know, uh, um, was Jesus being really offensive to her, calling her a dog? Um, some say that the word for dog is puppy and it makes it less offensive. Many say that, you know, Jesus was testing her faith. And uh, she says, please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Again, great humility. She didn't like take offense and, you know, get angry and, and storm away. No, I'm here because I think you can help me and I'm willing to take whatever, whatever you can give me. And, uh, and Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. So that incredible faith that she showed in Jesus. And you think about that in, in the scriptures, you know, when Jesus was inside the house, they say, you know, Lord, your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside. And he says, who are my mother, my brother, my sisters? The one who uh, does the will of my heavenly father is my mother, my brother, and my sisters. And so this Canaanite woman became part of the Lord's family that day. She believed in him, she sought his will, and his will was to heal her daughter, and she became part of his family. And so for me, I think this, this gospel story has a couple important things for us to consider. One is, do we believe that Jesus is the Messiah? Do we believe that beyond any other doctor, psychologist, psychiatrist, Jesus is the, the ultimate healer. Um, do we call out to him, son of David, you know, you're the Messiah. Do we come to him in humility? You know, this woman, you know, the Lord seemingly was testing her faith. She just kept in humility, begging the Lord for that miracle. And it was through her faith that her daughter was healed. Now, again, it begs the question, if, if God doesn't answer the prayers that we, in the way that we want him to, does that mean that we don't have faith? No, it just means that, you know, if we seek, ask, knock, if we have faith and it doesn't happen the way we want it to, we got to entrust that to the Lord's will and say, Lord, not my will, but yours be done. And I trust you. This may not be what I want, but I, I trust you. To whom, Lord, shall we go? You alone have the words of everlasting life, St. Peter said. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, increase our faith and trust in you. Help us in humility to come before you and believe that your will is always better than mine. Help us to seek your will and do it so that we, we can remain your beloved children, part of your family. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Have a blessed day, everyone. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. And to you and to your family, Buen Camino. Signing out from beautiful St. Isaac Jokes Parish in Hinsdale.